Hey guys, it's Renee. Now Father's Day is coming up. I just started off by printing this hammer image that I found on this website that I'm going to link in my blog. My blog is going to be linked below and it's just going to be a reference for us. You don't have to print it, you can just draw it with your hands, but we were kind of like testing out a new printer. But anyways, I'm just going to uh, use cupcake wrappers and this is the standard size. I'm not using minis for this case, I'm just using a regular cupcake wrappers. And I'm just going to cover the whole figure to see how many cupcakes I'm just going to be using for this project. Uh, turns out I'm just going to be using five. So now that I have done that, I'm just going to cut the hammer, uh, you know, drawing or just print or image with my scissors. Pretty self-explanatory this part. Now, because we're making one cake out of like few cupcakes, you need a base to just handle the whole thing. Especially if you're going to take your cake somewhere else. So I'm just going to take one of this cardboards and it's about the size of my paper. It's not too big, not too small. Try to find something that is going to be big enough to cover your cake. Feel free to wrap your cardboard in case you want something prettier. And now to attach the cupcakes to the cardboard, a lot of people use the same buttercream. They add a bit and then just, um, you know, place the cupcake wrapper on the top. But I just prefer to use some tape because I feel like it's a bit less messy. That's just my opinion. So I'm just going to arrange my cupcakes to the shape that I need and the cupcakes and that I'm using by the way is a recipe that I have on my channel right now that I use some mango frosting but the cupcakes are just vanilla and then I'm just going to fill my piping back with some whipping cream it's from store and the tip that I'm using for this is one of the big um, opened tips from Wilton and I'm just going to start frosting my cupcakes and nothing special like just swirls doesn't have to be even perfect because we're going to be smoothing the whole thing anyways but just until you complete them all. And then I'm just going to go to those empty spaces and just, you know, cover them with whipping cream. Then I'm just going to take a spatula. I have two options here, the one that is flat and the one that has like a curve in there. You can always use a kitchen knife if you're gonna have one of this, but it's easier one of those ones in there. They're super affordable. And then I'm just going to start, you know, smoothing the whole thing with my spatula. And it helps a lot to have some warm water in there just to clean your spatula and you're going to find out that when you do that it's going to you know go a bit smoother then i decided to add more whipping cream because i wanted the whole like shape to be not perfect but a bit more symmetrical than it was before so i just went ahead and added a bit more frosting and then went with my spatula and just um try to you know smooth the whole thing and at this point, my cake looks kind of weird or like a tea, it's going to look better. Then I'm just going to take some toothpicks and I'm just going to make holes all over my hammer. And I'm just going to place like my hammer on top of my cake like that. And this is just going to help me have my like a template on the top of my cake. So it's easier for me to move on to the next step, which is going with my toothpick and following the shape of my hammer. Then I'm just going to remove my toothpicks and my figure. And there I have my my figure. It, so it kind of works like a stencil. Then I'm just going to take some brown uh, whipping cream. I used brown food coloring. The brand that I use is Emery Colors because I love the colors. And I'm using a simple bag for this. I'm going to make making a small Hall with my scissors and I'm just going to start um, putting my whipping cream on like the bottom part or like the wood would be this is simulating the wood part and then with my knife I'm just going to smooth the whole thing in and here it depends on how smooth you want your this is a handle uh, for the hammer, your handle to be. I just went with my water again and just tried to make the whole thing smoother, but it's up to you. And just until you're happy with how it looks. And then I did the same for the top part, the hammer part. And uh, in here I'm just using some, a few drops of black gelted coloring. And again, I'm using mirror colors and with some whipping cream so it kind of like gives you a gray color 
and yeah I'm just going to follow the the shape in there as well I'm doing the same thing first working my way like on the outline and then filling the whole thing and then going with my knife and just trying to smooth the whole thing it's not going to be as easy to be honest for the top part because of the shape it's not like straight on the bottom part and this one has a lot of like indentations but it's not impossible i mean you just have to give it a bit more time we could say and i'm using the same method that i did before water with my knife to just smooth the whole thing in and then i'm just going to take some black this one i went with a few more drops of that gray that i used on the hammer here with my ziploc bag and some whipping cream and i'm just going to make like the outline of the whole the whole hammer cream if you want to use buttercream it's up to you it's just not gonna be as white in the background nothing happens and then for the bottom part i'm just going to do the same thing So that's it for like the main hammer thing, but I just felt like adding something else because I felt like it was like too blah and I wanted to go for a cartoonish look to it. So I just took my black whipping cream, I just went with it and, you know, simulating booth, I think. <laughs> it helps a lot to just goggle something like some hammer uh, images, cartoon hammer images on the internet and kind of guide yourself from there. And then I decided to add some shine to the top part of my hammer. But I did to, so yeah, I did that with my white whipping cream. And then with my knife, I just smoothed it, kind of smoothed the top part. And then finally, I decided to add black outline to that white shine to make it look like a cartoon. So I just went with my black, the one that I used before, and just made an outline to both my white pieces or just parts. So this is the idea I wanted to share. Happy Father's Day. And if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, share it, and don't forget to check out my blog for images, the recipes, and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Father's Day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.